What's up guys? It's Baby Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. I am currently in the middle of packing. I am leaving today to go to Seattle and then I'm actually going to be going to Arizona too. So I really wanted to do a whole pack with me video because I know you guys love these ones. So yesterday I spent most of the day like piecing outfits together and kind of planning out what I want to bring with me. It's hard to pack for two different climates just because Seattle right now is like 60s and raining and then Arizona is like a hundred and sunny so I've definitely had to figure out outfits that I can wear for both places but also be able to kind of utilize some of the same clothes so that I don't bring too much with me but I am naturally an overpacker so I obviously still bring things that I probably don't need but one thing that I do to help myself is I always try on all my outfits and I take pictures of myself in the mirror and then I will save each of those photos into a certain album then when I'm on my trip I can just go to the album and I'll see like what outfits I already styled and put together so I know exactly what to put on that morning so this is one of the outfits that I could wear during the day. It's just a crop sweatshirt and has a little hood with these a goldy jeans. And I'm going to be going to my aunt's house. We're going to have like a birthday party for my cousin. So I figured that this would just be something like casual and comfy to wear that day. And then I also put together this outfit. This I could either do in the evening and I could put on um, some booties or little heels and dress it up. It's this long sleeve button up from Princess Polly. And then I have these leather pants. So this is one outfit. And then to be able to reuse these pants and wear them again, I put together this outfit. So this is a little bit more casual. I feel like this is more of a daytime look. This cropped tank and then this overshirt. So this is just like one little outfit that I could do during the day. So these are Seattle outfits. And then this right here is a comfy outfit that I could wear from Seattle to Arizona. So I just have some sweatpants and then this t-shirt. And since it will be colder in Seattle, I have this white overshirt. And then once I land in Arizona and it's super hot, I can just take it off and have either this um, t-shirt on or I could wear the white tank with the sweats. Moving to more of the Arizona side of outfits. Plan those ones out over here. I have these like black slack pants. So once I land in Arizona, if my mom and I decide to go to dinner or something, I could throw these pants on. And then I have a cute little top that's cropped. So I could either do this top with these pants, or if I feel like it's a little bit too hot, I could do these denim shorts. So both options would work. And then these denim shorts I can wear during the day. And I have obviously this white t-shirt or this white little tank that I could wear with them. And then I have a little dress. This is short with like a collar and I could wear this during the day with some sneakers, it's super cute. And then I brought one other dress and this one has like a cutout detailing in the front but I also think that this would be perfect with some sneakers. Or if I wanna dress anything up, well, so for sneakers, I'm going to be wearing these shadow ones. Oh my gosh, I almost just dropped them. I'm going to be wearing these shadow ones on the plane, so I don't need to worry about packing those. But then I'm also going to bring these little sandal block heels, and these I could wear with anything to dress up the outfit. So either this blue top and leather pants I could dress up, I could dress up... Um, this shirt and the slacks or this shirt and shorts, this dress. So these I can utilize for multiple outfits. And then I also have these slide shoes. So these are gonna be good for being by the pool when I'm in Arizona, but I could also wear these in the evening in Seattle with some sweats. So these are good to just have to be comfy and then I'm debating on my booties I definitely don't need these they would be cute with this 
blue top and the leather pants but I don't know if I'll have space so these I'm not sure about but it's nice to have to make it look a, more like a fall outfit so I don't know yet and then I do have some stuff laid out on my bed in here it's not my bed this is my guest room <laughs> but I am gonna show you guys this stuff too so these are most of the outfits that I'm going to be bringing and wearing. Obviously, if I get there and I don't really want to wear it like that, I don't have to. But for the most part, this is what I have styled and I'm going to be bringing with me. So I'm going to start putting everything into my suitcase and seeing how much space I have to determine like what other things I can bring with me. I briefly wanted to pause today's video to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring. They are the world's largest therapy service that is 100% online. And if you feel like there is anything that is preventing you from achieving your goals or interfering with your happiness, then therapy is great for you. For me especially, it's great because I've had to deal with feeling lonely and transitioning to living alone but BetterHelp will assess your needs and then they will match you with your own licensed professional therapist and then you can start communicating with them within 48 hours but it's super easy I'm going to show you guys online just how simple it is so here you can see once you are on the website you just type in what type of counseling you're looking for, your gender, how old you are. There's a bunch of questions like what issues you're hoping to work on, the country you're in, and then once you get to the end, you'll just put in the rest of your information and you'll get matched with a therapist and you can start messaging your counselor anywhere anytime and there is a broad range of therapists in better helps over 20,000 expertise of therapists that you can work with and there is probably someone on here that you wouldn't even be able to find in your local area but they offer therapy to people worldwide so it doesn't matter what country you're in and they really want you to have a good experience so they will match you with someone but if you feel like that isn't a good therapist for you then you can easily change and it's free but this isn't a you know self-help or a crisis line it is therapy that is done online securely so definitely just keep that in mind but you guys can visit betterhelp.com slash hey that's better h-e-l-p and join over a million people that are taking charge of their mental health and getting help from an experienced professional and this is a lot cheaper than traditional offline therapy and they do have financial aid available but there is also a special offer Offer for baby hey viewers it's 10% off of your first month so just go to betterhelp.com slash baby hey the link is in my description box so just click it there and you guys can check out better help but thank you so much better help for sponsoring this video this is the suitcase that I'm planning on using I have this in a bigger size but I wanted to try to packed where I don't have to check a bag so we're gonna see if we can work with this for my trip and then these are my packing cubes but this is all from CalPack I'll link it all down below for you guys I got this suitcase set a while ago so I don't know if it will still be available but if there's other colors or similar ones I definitely recommend this brand so I'll try to find what I can but I'm going to use some of my packing cubes as well I love using these they keep me so much more organized I have five of them two of them might be in the closet but we'll just use these ones for now I like to roll all of my clothes because I think that it ends up fitting better in the suitcase. So sometimes I'll do like tops and then pants in one. 
but for this trip I think I'm gonna do more of like Seattle outfits that I think I'll wear in that one Here I have my workout sets. Both of these are from Lululemon. And then these are some loungewear or things I can sleep in. So tank, biker shorts, pajamas, and then this little pajama kind of lounge set. And then I have two swimsuits, underwear, and socks. This little bag I always do. I definitely want to bring these ones with me. I'm gonna make room for that. And then these ones as well. The other ones I'm more flexible on. Like if I feel like I don't have space for the workout shoes or the booties, I'll just do without them. But I do think I want to bring this sweatshirt and sweatpants. I had it sitting out over there just in case when my mom texted me that we're going to be hanging out by the fire pit and it'll be like um, just like a casual night. And so I didn't really bring anything that I could wear like out by the fire. So I, I think I want to bring this. I just wasn't sure if we were going to be doing that or not, but she said it's happening. So I'm going to bring this sweat set that I can wear at night. skincare packed, my makeup, and my hair products. So on this side I have my sweatsuit set and I put my Dyson Airwrap in the hair products, Air Max 270s, and the slide sandals and my block heels. 
So for this little toiletry pouch, I use it for all of my electronics. So I have like everything that I need for filming. I have my camera and other battery, but that's charging. So we'll grab that in a little bit. Earpods, adapter, tripod. So that's like filming and computer stuff. My laptop case. This is from Kuwana, that's how you pronounce it, but I love this. So we'll do that. And this is my big tote bag. I actually got this from Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna bring So that you guys can see up close, I have my laptop back here, and then I have this purse, which I would use the Neverfull only if it was bigger. I have the MM size, but my laptop is a 16 inch and it doesn't fit all the way long in the bag. It just kind of looks weird. So I would prefer to use this bag so I have more space. And then I put all of my computer stuff, chargers, whatnot in here. And then I have my skincare and makeup. I have my extra little purse. And then I have this little clutch. And my Go Macro bars for a snack. And then on the side right here, I have my pill pack, but I just like having all of my like personal stuff that's like super important to me with me. So that is my big bag for the plane. I'm gonna try to get this closed. <laughs> it's a little full, but it's okay, right? Like we're gonna make it work. Then I don't have to bring like a big bag and check it. Well, we got everything packed and just as a little like tip or hack for you guys if you are traveling and you kind of pack a lot like me your bag is already pretty full and you wanted to buy some stuff there or you ended up coming back with more and you needed more space what you can do is check your little bag and then I could use my tote bag separate from my purse so I basically have an, a whole extra tote bag to use to fill up with things so Either way, I got it all. I just didn't want to use my big checked bag because you guys, it is ginormous and I would have way overpacked if I used that thing. So this is perfect, but I'm gonna be leaving really soon actually. Yeah, 12 minutes. So I need to get my shoes on and just like get out the door, but make sure that you guys are subscribed to my channel and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss my Seattle vlog, my Arizona vlog. I definitely want you guys to watch those. It'll be super fun. So yeah, I'm closing out the pack with me here, but I do hope you guys liked it and make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.